Hey there, I'm incredibly excited that my GUI for my Extra Life Donation software is finally done. So here's how you would set it up on Windows. First, you wanna to go to python.org and click on Downloads. And you wanna come here, download the latest version, and it'll download there. Uh, once that's done, install it, just like you install any Windows program. Then you need a uh, PyQt. So over here, the easiest way to do it is to run this command right here. And uh, so you would open up your window, uh, your Windows button there, type CMD, bring up your command prompt, right? I've got one open here. And you just type pip3 install PyQt5. If you have Python installed, that should work. It worked uh, perfectly fine for me. And that'll get you the GUI libraries that you need. The last thing that you need to do is come grab my software. If you go to if you go to my uh, GitHub repository for Extra Life Donation Tracker, um, first of all, you'll see some instructions here. But all you need to do is uh, come over to releases, and you'll grab, you'll click on zip, and you see it'll download there, or if it's Firefox or whatever, it might come up slightly differently. And you just download the latest one, and then you go to the folder, you'll want to um, extract it and open it up. So uh, I've got it open over here from before. This is actually um, using um, GitHub Desktop. Here's a, um, I was able to grab it and that's just because I happen to own the repository. And so all you wanna do after you've done all the steps before, right? So you've installed Python, you've installed PyQt is double click on GUI and you'll get this donation tracker. And it'll look like this for you the values here fill in for me, but that's because I was playing around to make sure it was actually going to work. Uh, for you, those will stay blank until you do settings. So the first thing you want to do is click on settings here. You want to get your participant ID, and I'll show you how you do that. Um, if you go, uh, let me see over here. Um, here's my Extra Life website. All right. And so what you do is you go all the way up here, and you see right after the equal sign, there's a number there. So you wanna copy and paste that either um, by right clicking and clicking copy or by using control C, however you wanna copy it over or you know, write it on a piece of paper, it doesn't matter. Uh, so you, you put that here in the settings. Then you wanna pick the folder where you're gonna drop a bunch of um, um, text files and those files are gonna be used and I'll, um, to set up the OBS and I'll show you how to do that uh, in a minute. And uh, you can pick your currency if it's not dollar sign. Right now, Team ID doesn't do anything. I haven't set up the code for that just yet. So you'll hit save once you've you've got that taken care of. Oh, so you um, to run the program itself to start grabbing your donations, how much you've raised, your goal, all that data. You'll hit run over here, and once you hit run over on this window, uh, not that window, uh, the window that opened when you opened up GUI.py will come up here, and you'll see starting thread one, and it'll display these numbers here. And that's the time, and every 30 seconds, it should go again to the next one. If anything crashes here on this window, uh, report a bug to me and I'll try and figure out what happened. Um, so anyway, once that once that starts going, then, so for me, I set it up on desktop EL tracker. So let me, uh, let me grab that. You'll get these files here and the program will create these for you. And you'll see here's the goal, $500. Um, here's the last five donors uh, and any messages that they had, okay? So that'll, that'll do its thing. The last thing you wanna do uh, as that's running is you wanna open up Tracker and we're gonna use this in a minute but I just wanna show you what this is gonna do. You can hit test alert and you'll see. There's a picture and eventually I'll have some settings where you can change the picture and you'll see the last donation that happened. Um, the people, the amount. Now, how do you use all this? Well, let me bring my OBS window over here and we'll get some infinite OBS going on. So let's say that you want to have your um, most recent donation, you click here on the 
plus sign for sources, text. Uh, I've got one here for goal. We'll add that in. Uh, have to. Ah, that's pointing at something that's no longer valid. That's okay. So we'll go to the desktop. We'll go to test deal tracker, goal. Whoa. We've got a goal, and I had set up a scroll on this last time I messed with it. So, and the way you do that is to gonna <laughs> remove that scroll. Yes, let's remove the scroll. So we've got 500, that's our goal. But a scroll might be much more useful with donations. So we'll go here, we'll do horizontal donations. All right. And we'll read from a text file. And we'll do last five donor names, amounts, messages, horizontal. There you go there. So that goes across the whole screen, well, almost the whole screen. You can kind of stretch it a little that way. And that one, we can set scrolling. Uh, horizontally. And then as you get new donations, the new names will show up there. So, so far so good. Now, we also want to add the tracker window. So we'll go add window capture. We'll just leave it with that default name for now. And we'll say, let's capture tracker. There you go. All right, so that's gonna appear over here. So again, just to give you, oh wait, so first let's set up the chroma key. So we'll go to window capture and filters. All right, now it disappears because it automatically defaults to green. So now we've got that going on over there. But we'll see that when someone donates, boom, it'll appear over your game, right? So that's great. So as people are donating, as you're playing, th that'll pop up. Every time there's a donation, that'll pop up with the latest one. You can say, hey, thank you for donating, so-and-so. And, -so. and uh, so that's, that's the most useful part of the GUI. Um, all the rest of this you can do with just the command line interface version. And I have another video that describes how to do that. But if you want the tracker, um, you've got to uh, use the GUI version. Um, plus it gives you the benefit of not having to open those text files to do a sanity check and make sure, yep, this makes sense as the last donation, the top donation, my last you know, few donations and so on and so forth. And so that's it, that's all you have to do. You know, um, You've got this over your game and you'll have a nice uh, interface that will allow you to respond to people as they're donating um, live while you're playing. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, enjoy the software that I've developed here. Um, if you have any issues, um, you can file a bug uh, report on GitHub. What you do is you would go to, let's see, where's my window? Over here to GitHub. Go to issues. And here are some issues that I started so that I could uh, track some of the um, some of the features I want to add. And then you would just make a new issue as long as you're signed in. You can say, hey, whatever's not working, and I'll try and figure out what's going on. Um, otherwise, enjoy the software. And if you find it really, really useful, I could love a donation uh, to my Extra Life campaign. Uh, it's, it's for uh, my daughter who had to... Uh, have some surgeries at Johns Hopkins University. Uh, sorry, Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Uh, and there you go. All right, thanks a lot.